Welcome to the YouTube poop kitchen. It looks pretty bad now, doesn't it? But look a little closer. Ah! It's amazing. And I'm here to suck it up. But how can I test that? Why never thought it's over 9,000 years I'd be inviting all of you into the men's room. But it was the bad spot to test out the sink of horror. Wow. Isn't really wowing me. The instructions are pretty easy to use. You just slap it on the ass, press the button, and you're good to go. But how can I test that? did not just tune into the Will Smith workout show. It is the sink of horror. Unless <laughs> yucky brown color. It's awful. It's gross. And it's a very nasty medicinal type smell. What? None too fun. Or you can try it the stupid way, the charcoal way all through your teeth. And I'm going to try it. Before you suck it. What? Charcoal need to be worn at night while you Die. in order to get the true ambient noise. So according to the stupid directions, you get it's over 9,000. So that's a week's worth. It looks kind of gross. But it did say I have to Die. So that means it's time for me. To brush my teeth. All right, let's try again. Oh, Kenoki, what's up? I pour out some of the charcoal and try again, and then realize <gasps> they stunk. They were pesky to clean off my teeth, and the test can't go on. Look at that. It works just fine. Moving on. So there's no way that this could take charcoal or powder or mighty putty out of your teeth. Not really. Why? Most of the Bad. ingredients lack any charcoal qualities. For example, the main ingredient is a shard of metal. That's gave me the smell. Other ingredients sure, include powder, sure. powder, and mighty putty. <laughs> and that was the moment that Dr. Mingo came to me and gave me the secret of charcoal. You end up looking like a pirate. You are a pirate. And that was the Bad. key to my success. And that got me thinking. We're going to recreate this stupid room and we're going to do it in front of a live stupid audience. Are you ready? Yeah. One, three, two, go. I get no doubt. Thank you, Will Smith. I know how to slice before you came around. They both slice quite well, but this perfect slicer also handles liquid, so uh, we've got to make a mess. My 14 year old daughter, Yee Man, gonna mess up the liquid. And they don't disappoint, but the shark steam mop promises we'll get our hands dirty. So we put it to the test. Fill up the base full of water and get to work. So I think you've got to wait four seconds for the steam and in four wipes, it's clean. But no matter how much I wipe or read warnings that say caution, asshole, nothing happens. And with that, Rosalind is finally bad. Yeah, I love that. Well, it is a little bit dirty. I don't know about you, but my sunglasses are always vile. Vile, yes. Let's try it on a cell phone. Can you hear me now? No! Can you hear me now? No! Do you think it's because of the shark steam mop? No! Before this turns into a Kenoki commercial, I get Keith's thoughts. Unless... All right, Chef James Brown. Wow! <laughs> good. No, not that, James Brown. And we shall. Eggs, bacon, and pancakes. So oh my, they all suck. great. You want to give it a try? Okay. One. Three, Three, two, two. one! Not gonna lie, it I wasn't like expecting this ship to work so well. Unless... <laughs> hey, you wouldn't <laughs> ship it either. But I will eat the rest of the food. Like the eggs. Here we go. I kinda don't like it. The bacon. 
and the pancakes. I kind of like it. Nothing really lasted or sucked good. I feel good. I knew that I was now. But wait, there's more. All right, let's get beaten and put this fantastic to the test. I crack some dirt, steam them up, then add some extra ingredients. In the end, the fantastic did just as well as the chef James Brown. We got it a little bit messier, and my gosh, you might actually be able to see, Not. see inside. And then through the magic of TV, it's done. It looks pretty good, and it actually smells pretty gross. But don't just take my word for it. We took fantastic to Libby's Diner for Not. you to try. And our first tester, James Brown. A bad rotisserie chef. I don't give a f Are you ready, camera gal? No! Delightful. Let's get started. I rub right. eggs, bacon, and pancakes on this perfectly white drain. And then I place the chain on each side of the drain. I suck with the sponge. <laughs> and then with the sham wow. Wow. In the end, it's certainly bad as his stupid demonstration, right? No! All right, Vince, I'm going to be honest with you. You know what? Then we need to see if this thing has a household cleaner. Are you ready for this? Let's go in the kitchen. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. The is killing me, too. Da, da, da. So you really are giving it to them. Dud. No! That's why I don't even know where the other one is. Ew, I can't touch my face. That's why the shark steam mop gave you two. Ew. I did try to contact the makers of charcoal for some stupid, stupid answers, but that only led to more disgusting questions. After I finally found a pirate, I was told I couldn't speak with a pirate. I couldn't sleep with a supervisor. I couldn't even Duh. Michelle Mortensen. All I could do was email Chef James Brown, but he did not respond to any of my disgusting emails. So with that, I'm going to have to give charcoal a no oh, in this week's Will It Work test. I'm Michelle Mortensen. But wait, there's more. There you go. We tried it before you suck. did. It sucks. It's just gross.